everybody. The fourth and final restaurant of Newport on the Levees Food Hall is coming and is expe it's expected to open as soon as this fall. So Stick and Buns is here this morning. We have Mike, we have Lee with us, and they are going to be showing off some of the menu items that they're going to be offering. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks for having us. You guys are the owners, and you guys are cooking up some good stuff in the kitchen this morning. But everybody's going to be able to try it soon on Newport on the Levee. So kind of talk to us about how excited you are to open this up. Super excited. <laughs> there you go. He's At like, this point, where do I begin? All the everything's in place. We just got to get occupancy. Okay. You know. Yeah. So, what made you guys decide to do this? Um, we went to we went in uh, culinary school together, and we've been kind of going our separate ways for the last 10, 15 years, and waiting for the right moment. And um, Newport on the Levee was the perfect vessel to try out our concept. That's amazing. So we're super excited to be in the community and you know share all these flavors with everybody. Okay, well it smells delicious. I haven't tried anything yet, but the smell alone has got me all in. So what did you guys bring with you today? Yes, That's we have our edamame. signature edamame, but what we're going to do a little different. We're going to saute it. Okay. And then we're going to top it with some chili crunch and some soy. And so you'll get this kind of bowl and it'll be more of a share plate. And then also we have some Brussels sprouts um, that are tossed in a vinaigrette called nak cham. Mm. And then that's topped with our uh, pesto aioli. Okay. And then our steam bun is what we brought me today were short ribs. Ooh. And then those are 48 hour braised in soy and black garlic and Mirin, Sounds all the awful. all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be topped with our lemongrass chili sauce, as uh, some of our house pickles, okay. and then our street slaw. Oh my gosh! So what's in the street slaw? Is that what I'm smelling? Yeah, it's cabbage. Oh. It's yeah, that chom vinaigrette. It's some uh, carrot. Okay. And some chili. What makes you guys stand out from the rest? Uh, I believe with you know the flavors from the Far East are very clean, very bright, mm -hmm. and uh, very well balanced. And I think from our pedigree of culinary school, and just our years of experience, and that coupled with all of these bold flavors, I think is a match made in heaven. How exciting! Yeah. And uh, do you guys really? Do you guys have like a signature? There's one thing on the menu because I always ask that when I go into a new restaurant. I say, okay. What's what's something that you recommend? I know usually they hate when I ask that question because they're like everything, but is there one thing people have to try? Absolutely, the short rib yeah. steam bun. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm gonna try it here yeah. in a second. When are you guys opening up? Do you guys have a set date yet? October 25th is what they're saying now. Okay. Um, we'll have a three-day friends and family community day, nice. and then we'll be open for the public a couple days after that. Okay. Why would you encourage people to come down? I mean, Newport on Levees having his renaissance right now you know and it's a lot of exciting stuff we'll be the we'll be the last uh, food venue in there okay and we'll have four other kitchens in our food hall with about 60 seats outside and then about 100 nice. seats inside so we can spend all day there for game day yeah you know Bengals are coming up so we should be ready to rock and I'm telling you guys I was just telling them I was telling Mike and Lee that I was over at Geta Fest. I walked up the steps and I just was checking out some of the new bars, the new restaurants. You guys, if you haven't been to Newport on the Levee in like, I don't know, the last like six to eight months, you have to go, you have to check it out because it's it's amazing. It has changed a lot. Thank you guys so much for coming Absolutely. in. Uh, we for look us. forward to checking out all of your delicious food. I'm gonna try some of this, Ethan. As I do, I'm gonna send it over to you. You're gonna take a look at that weather forecast. Uh, so go ahead, I'll take it over.